What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. What if I told you that DMRs are the most underrated weapon category in Battlefield 2042? Designated marksman rifles, or DMRs, are the types of weapons that fill the gap between assault rifles and sniper rifles with more fire rate than a sniper rifle and more firepower than an assault rifle. And in a franchise like Battlefield with big maps and open terrain, they've always proven to be worthy and effective and sometimes even necessary. Battlefield 2042 provides seven of them and today we're going to go over all of these weapons to get the best out of them and get the best setup possible. We've done the same for assault rifles, SMGs and LMGs and I'll put the link to that playlist down in the description. It will also pop up on the top right corner. Do check it out because those setups are going to make your enemies cry. Also, if you find this video helpful, give it a like so the algorithm thinks it's actually a good video. And if you're a consistent viewer of the channel, consider subscribing because 95% of my viewers don't and you're probably one of them. With all that said, let's get things started. So first of all, we're going to start with DM7. This is probably one of the most versatile DMRs in the game. You can absolutely be aggressive both in close combat and in range with perfect accuracy. I've personally had plus 300 meters headshot with it and I gotta say it's a worthy weapon regardless of being the very first DMR that you unlock. For the attachments, I'll start with Muzzle. I believe going for the Tactical Compensator would be a wise thing here because the recoil isn't going to be a problem in almost any given DMR, but you're going to need more accuracy, especially in medium range. So Tactical Compensator is going to be the first choice. Second slot goes to Rapid Suppressor because this weapon actually has some close range potential and having some stealth in those scenarios wouldn't hurt, right? For the third slot, I guess we can all agree on the extended barrel for more muzzle velocity and less drop. You can hit those targets at longer ranges as well. For under barrel, LDBG grip will be a good choice to give you the edge in close to medium range where people usually move while shooting. Second slot goes to 40mm high explosive, but you can use your own favorite grenade launcher just to have some more firepower on the weapon. Third slot goes to bipod, which is really a must when it comes to DMRs because like it or not, you'll find yourself engaging with snipers at some point and for that matter, you're gonna need some accurate shots. For ammo, standard issue, then subsonic to match that suppressor. And lastly, the close combat. I usually just don't like using close combat ammo on DMRs because naturally they're designed for damage and firepower and close combat ammo takes that away. But solely due to the lack of a better choice here, we go with that. For scopes, like always, it's more for personal preference, but I'll let you know mine. I'd go with a red dot for close range, a ghost hybrid for medium range, and an m 116 x for high range, and that's it. The setup is complete, looking like this. Next up, we've got the SVK, a Russian DMR, which is literally a sniper rifle in Battlefield 2042 because it's just insanely good in range. It's a two-shot kill in under 100 meters, which makes it the hardest hitting DMR of the game and an absolute menace. For attachments, I like to start with shortened barrel. First, because it does not affect the damage output and it's just about muzzle velocity and fire rate. It's going to make the weapon faster for close to medium range and in my opinion, it's generally a better choice. Second slot, however, goes to the extended barrel for long range encounters to give you that muzzle velocity edge you need and we'll leave muzzle at that. That's it. Just those two options. For under barrel, again, LWG grip is going to be a great choice, but for the second slot, this time I prefer 40mm armor piercing to be able to deal some decent damage to enemy armor as well. Of course, you can choose your own favorite grenade launcher here and there's no problem with that. For third slot, just go with a bipod because this weapon is a monster in long range and I've had plus 550 meters headshots with it as well, which is a hard range to reach even with a sniper rifle. For ammo, standard issue extended, standard issue and then high power are the best choices. For weapon sights, my favorite is having a ghost hybrid for close to medium range and a 2038 thermal 6x for long ranges, which is going to make a pretty decent combination. Now here's the setup at its final four. Moving on to VCAR, somehow odd, but this weapon feels like a pistol with a lot of damage and a lot of versatility. You can easily engage up to 150 meters with this weapon, but close range is where this thing shines. And this DMR is the only one that I actually prefer using close combat ammo on because of its natural desire for close range. However, I just don't like using shortened barrel for this weapon. For some reason, I feel like it messes with the recoil more than it should and I just couldn't get comfortable with it. So first slot goes to factory barrel. Second slot goes to the wrapped suppressor because you'll definitely need it on a weapon like this to save yourself some noise in close range. And lastly, go for the extended barrel so you can have a trump card even in long range. 
For Under Barrel, the only thing you'll need is MGL Laser Sight because you're going to find yourself in a lot of close quarter combats. With this weapon, you don't really have time for aiming down sights every single time and MGL helps you with that hipfire accuracy and it's really a must on this weapon. For ammo, close combat drum, close combat extended and close combat are going to do the trick. And for weapon sights, definitely go for a red dot sight for close range. But my favorite long range scope is the target AT. This is how the weapon will look like after all the attachments are in place. Next up, we've got the BSVM, which is just an upgraded version of the infamous Asval of the previous Valfield titles. It's a DMR and let's say a submachine gun at the same time, and in both scenarios, it's an absolute banger. So let's take a closer look. If you want more fire rate and want to use it as an SMG, shortened barrel is the best option, so I'll put it in the first slot, but there's also the extended barrel for the DMR lovers. For under barrel, if you want the SMG version, definitely go for the MGL laser sight because this weapon lacks hipfire accuracy. But if you want the DMR version, LBG grip should get the job done. And lastly, pick a bipod for long range accurate shots. For ammo, there's something interesting about this weapon that you should know. We've got both close combat and subsonic close combat ammo for this weapon. Based on these tables from Soros spreadsheet, Close combat ammo provides better damage per distance drop off, simply meaning that you'll deal more damage in certain ranges compared to subsonic close combat. But subsonic version gives you better minimap stealth, so all it really comes back to is your own playstyle and preferences. If you prefer stealth over damage, go for subsonic, but if you prefer some damage, then close combat should do the trick. My choice is going to be close combat, then subsonic close combat, and then high power extended. High power is actually for those who want the DMR version. You can three shot people in under 75 meters, which is just crazy for a weapon so compact and so stealthy. For weapon sights, I'd go with KH Hollow, then goes hybrid for medium range, and then 2038 Thermal 6X for long ranges, and the setup will look like this. Moving on to G428, the last DMR the Battle 2042 ever got. There are some interesting facts about this weapon and some sort of glitch in ammo types that we're gonna go over in just a minute. But the weapon itself is a heavy hitting DMR and it looks pretty damn good as well. The best looking DMR award definitely goes to this one. But back to our main topic here, the attachments. Starting off with tactile compensator for some more accuracy and then extended barrel for long range encounters. Personally, I don't like using suppressors on long range weapons because of muzzle velocity and this weapon is just one of them. But if you want to do that, feel free to put it in the second slot and have it your way. For under barrel, the LWG grip is going to be the first choice, then a 40mm smoke grenade, and then a bipod for those long ranges. Now for ammo, things get pretty interesting. This weapon has standard issue, standard issue extended and high power ammo types, and also subsonic. Usually high power ammo provides lower rate of fire, and the fire rate of both standard issue and standard issue extended should be the same. But in this weapon, that's not the case because of a glitch that DICE is ignoring. So the glitch is, standard issue rounds have a fire rate of 245 RPM, while standard issue extended has 300 and high power has 270. That means by using the standard issue rounds, you actually get a fake rate of fire and you literally are in a disadvantage. So because of that, your first slot goes to standard issue extended, then high power and then standard issue. For weapon sights, target 8T for close to medium range and 2038 thermal 6X for long ranges and the setup is complete looking like this. Next up, we've got two vault weapons, starting off with the close range beast, the M39 EMR. This weapon's damage is crazy. You can two shot people in under 40 meters and three shot them at any given range. Absolutely brutal, man. For attachments, I'd go with champion muzzle brake because this thing has a crazy recoil and then wrap suppressor because it's a close range DMR after all. For under barrel, I'd go with a cobra grip and then a bipod. And for ammo, just use all your options. For weapon sights, go with a red dot sight for close range then an ACOG for medium range, and finally an M11 6X for longer ranges. The setup should look like this. And lastly, we've got the SVD, which has literally a mind-blowing damage model. You can two-shot kill enemies in under 75 meters, and this thing has the highest damage after SVK. The attachments are simple, champion muzzle brake and route suppressor, then Copra grip and a bipod. For ammo, just use all you got. And for weapon sights, I prefer K8 hollow, then ACOG, and then PSO 1 M3. And here you have it, guys. Best setups possible for every DMR in Battlefield 2042. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. The next episode will cover either secondary weapons or sniper rifles, so stay tuned for that. It's coming in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, stay cool.